Hi everyone, it's Savannah for Kelowna Now. I am here with Sydney, the president of the Okanagan Pride Society. So Sydney, can you tell me a little bit about the growth of Pride Week so far? We are astonished. All of our events have been exceeding what we've had in previous years. Thankfully, we've had larger venues, so we've been able to accommodate. Uh, this year, uh, it's easy to see that we've exceeded our 3,500 we had last year. I'm going to add at least 1,000. We'll have a head count uh, closer to the end of the day, but yeah, we're, I'm sure we're between the 4,500, 5,000 mark to this year, which is, that's quite a jump. Yes, yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about, uh, we're at the Beach Festival right now. Can you tell me about what's all going on here, what people can see and what they can do? Absolutely. So we have various vendors, um, so selling wares and things of that nature. We also have food vendors. Uh, there's face painting and a bouncy castle, things like that for the kids. Um, and then there's, also, of course, for those that like to imbibe, there's, you know, the beverage garden. Uh, we're going to have a DJ and we have a headliner, uh, um, Devin Coyote. So we're super excited about that because they're an amazing local band. We try to really uh, stay local. So all of our entertainment has been somewhat close. I think Vancouver was the furthest we had someone travel from. Wow. Just because we really want to really highlight the talents that we have in BC because I mean it there is so much so right. we're really excited to have them yes you guys have received a lot of political support this year can you talk a little bit about who's here and and what they're doing to show their support absolutely um, it was such a great honor to ask um, MP Stephen Fear to be our Grand Marshal this year and when he accepted we were so thrilled especially because he did have that conflicting uh, scheduling but he made us a priority so he kind of did both but made sure that he was able to attend um, and then yes to be contacted by the premier's op premier's office Office, uh, and asked if she could walk in our march. We were so thrilled to have her and we wish that we had more time to allow her to speak and you know kind of take the stage and let us know why pride is important to her uh, but uh, we, we were restricted by time so it just wasn't able to be possible and then all of course the other MPs and, and even at the municipal level um, I mean that's important that's important for our youth to see it's important for our community to see politics of course are always a hot topic and you know people have different views but I love how we can all just come together for this wonderful cause I mean diversity inclusion so we're happy to have have them for sure wonderful well thank you so much for talking to us and congratulations on the growth and all of the steps that you're making forward for the LGBTQ community thank you so much thank so you. glad you're here